Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Brady Matizuski of Brighton Track and Field. How's it going, bud? It's going pretty great. Yeah, how are you? Doing well. So um, uh, let's kind of update how, the, since the last time we talked to you, how has kind of the indoor track season been going? Uh, it's been progressing well. I mean, training every day, like, just getting the work in, uh, slowly progressing, building that mileage up, um, making sure we're peaking at the right time, like not focusing too much on indoor track, but focusing more on outdoor track. Um, the team's looking good. Um, people are training together. Our freshmen are finally figuring it out, you know, putting the pieces together. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going pretty well. Um, so kind of just talk about like the preparation that you've kind of gone through because you're going to be in a lot of distance events this year. Yeah. So, um, starting off, like, especially early, um, LC trains us, uh, a lot of short speed and like athleticism type stuff. So I've built a lot of that capacity, especially in the weight room too. Um, me and my team. Um, so just building that like speed capacity at the start and we're slowly working into more, uh, distance based stuff. So more fart licks, more tempos, that kind of stuff right now. Um, just building our strength before the start of the season. Um, first practice in like two weeks, uh, or official practice, I should say. And then the first meet is like just after spring break. So we're coming up on it quick and just trying to get our bodies ready for multiple events instead of just one 5K. And yeah. So going into, you know, of course you got, but well, let's just talk about all the events that you're doing. Yeah um so i'm going to be doing the 32 uh the mile the 800 the four by eight and then probably the four by four um usually lc just throws us in the four by four just to get our legs moving a bit of training a bit of a just quicker thing at the end um we like it it's fun it's the shortest it's the shortest event we do so we enjoy it um our four by eight looking good we actually just uh, me, Bodie Cooper, Ian Cox, and Braden Morris just won the um, indoor, or not one, sorry. We were all state in indoor four by eight. Um, so I'm excited to see how that team progresses and everything. Um, and then mile, two mile, just working on that endurance and working on that final kick. And yeah. So take me through like a relay race, like how, like, I know the biggest thing is just like, like, are they different from like the other like events that you do, like the 800, the 1600, the 3200? Yeah. So it's definitely different because it really is a lot more strategy. Like a guy who runs, um, like two guys could run too flat, but if one guy kicks really well, like his last 200 is usually really fast. You usually want to put him as an anchor instead of the other two flat guy because he might have more of a capacity to outkick others at the end um also there are guys who are just better running alone so like those middle legs those second and third legs those guys who can keep a pace really well um you usually throw them in those so that they can keep that pace and then the guys who maybe are a little quicker who can get you off the line better um get you in a better position so you're not just in this massive pack of people like you usually want them to get off the line so yeah, there's a lot more strategy than just like the open races. And then also it's just like a lot of team com camaraderie. Like I like I depend on my team, they depend on me and um a little more pressure, but it makes you run a little faster, so it's always good. Is it going to get tough getting used to handoffs again? Uh it it, it was interesting <laughs> at indoor states. Um we had a bit of a fumble uh getting to indoor states, but uh with a baton, but we ended up working it out and it was fine. Um, Elsie usually trains us pretty well with the handoffs. We, we do pretty well with them. Usually get, get them well enough so that it's like, it's not hindering us and we're distant. So like, you don't need like a sprinter's handoff where it needs to be perfect. You know, you just get it good enough. So like experience, like with the, with the handoffs, like how tough are they really? Um, well, it depends. Like if you're in a dual meet, where we're running the four by eight and there's only two people who you're like when you're running the finishing straight and you only see two people it's pretty easy to like identify who you need to hand it off to and you just line up and then 
it's pretty smooth. But like, for instance, again, the indoor state meet, uh, I'm running and I come around the curve and I was the first leg and there's just like 20 people all lined up on the start finish line. And I like, it, you just have to search for your guy because you don't know really where he is um, because they line them up, but like order can switch in that last lap and then you don't know where your guy is. So I had to search a little bit for Bodie, but um, that that's probably the hardest part, just searching for your guy. But once you find them, like we practice it enough where you can match the speed pretty easily when you get off to get the handoff and you get that like three step turn and uh, you practice it enough. It's like, it's clockwork. It's muscle memory. How do you approach like the 3,200? Because it's like, I've always wondered how, like, I mean, it's eight laps. Like what's like, I've always wanted to, you know, what what's the mindset heading into that? Like, like, how do yeah. you lap one, two, and then where do you really kind of like, okay, maybe it's time to go win it. Yeah. Yeah. So for the 32, I, I usually split it into three. I split it. So you got the first mile and then the next 800 and then the final 800. So the first mile is really just, I like to think of it. It's kind of like the 5k and cross. You're just hanging in there. Like there's not, you're not going to make any crazy moves. Like you're really just looking for a position. Um, I usually like to make sure I'm in that first pack, middle, middle to back of the first pack not getting in any trouble, making sure I'm on the inside line um, and just making sure I'm just like staying calm, staying smooth that first mile. Um, and I'm never really worried about splitting fast in the first mile, like getting out fast or anything, because it's really at the end of the day, it's about racing it um, and time comes later. So just kind of, I like to think of it as chilling that first mile. Um, and then the next 800 is when everyone falls asleep um that you just everyone's like oh I got four more laps I got another mile they get in their own heads like a lot of people slow down during those two laps so those two laps are very important to like stay focused um usually during those two laps I'll make positional moves to get if I if I'm in a pack to get to the front of that pack or to get to second in that pack um so yeah those two laps are really about just like staying in it staying focused not letting your mind drift and like getting position wise and then the last two is just the last 800 of the race. So you're really getting after it. Like it's a really, really just building up that first lap of the last two. And then the last lap it's the last 400. So you got to be getting after it. And the two mile kick is the kick is very important because like a lot of people's legs are dead. So if you can have a good kick in the two, you could probably pass three to five people if it's like an invite type meet. So just that last eight is really about just giving it your all at the end there. Very interesting. I, like I've always wondered, like what goes through, you know, running like because, you know, there's there, there's really like it, it's like whether it's you know it's it's in track or field, it's on cross country, or whether it's any other type of race. Um, there's always like this built-in strategy of it. It's always very interesting to learn about. Yeah. Um, when you pro like the 16, it's like maybe a little bit shorter though, uh, because obviously the 800 is you know obviously the 800, but the 1600 obviously is like, it's still four laps, but it's, you don't have that, that low period. Either. Yeah. So the 16, um, yeah, the eight's basically a sprint, but the 16, you definitely, you get into it quicker. Um, I mean the 16, I probably, I probably really start thinking about racing, um, like 800 in maybe 900 in, um, and just basically like the 16 is a lot of pain for a decent amount of time like i i would almost say the mile is harder than the 3200 like you are going through pain a decent amount for a decent amount of time and it's hard to like it's hard to stay focused through that and it's hard to get through it but if you can if you can and if you can kick well because the kick is like you're kicking like it's an 800 but it's a mile so the kick also hurts a lot like and everyone wants to run the mile so the mile is very competitive and I'd say the mile is one of the hardest events on the track for sure. Why do you think that is? Because it's like, it, it's, it's shorter, but yeah. But the thing is, it's like, you know, why, why is it more competitive? You think? I think it's just historic. Like the mile is just like that historic, like distance event, like that base mark. Like when you, when you meet another runner 
and they run track, you use usually the, not the first question, but one of your first questions is like, Oh, what's your mile? Like, that's like, that's your go-to. So I'd say the mile is just kind of like this historic, like big event basically. And like, I don't know, it's just, it's just big. And, um, the 32, like comparatively, like I, there's more time to like chill and like stay calm. And I feel like the 32, like is more of a slow grind, but you can find your rhythm. The mile, there's a lot, everyone's surging constantly and there's a lot of shifting and there's a lot of bumping elbows, especially at those big invites. And like, it's just, it's just a very competitive race that it's a very hard race to run basically. But if you can figure it out, if you can lock in a pace, if you can kick very well, like you could be very, very, very successful at the mile. Yeah. It's, it's all very interesting. It's more, it's kind of like that strategy I, I talked about before, the strategy built into it. It makes it so interesting. So yeah, it's crazy. Cause like as a spectator, you see like, oh, they're running the same pace around like four times. But like in a runner's head, it's like, okay, I'm making a move now or I'm like chilling out now. And it's like all these like shifting parts and like strategy for the runner. But for spectators, it's like you're just watching them kind of run around track basically. Um, going into this, this is your last track season. So this is um, kind of your last hurrah before, um, you know, before you graduate and move on. Now, obviously, we covered in the last time you were on here. Um, or if it's not completely obvious to the, uh, to the big flag right next to you, uh, you're going to be heading to Xavier to, uh, run cross country and track, um, yeah. uh, next year. So, um, obviously we talked about this in the last time, the last time you were on here, but overall, uh, your, your approach to this final track season, you think? Um, I'd say just making sure I do my job at the dual meets, like, the dual meet specifically, like, I you're not going for any school records. You're not going for any, like, major PRs. Like, if they happen, like, obviously that's great. But, like, dual meets for me definitely are just about doing my job, like, making sure I'm beating the people I'm supposed to beat and just being consistent in my races. Because the last couple of seasons, I found it hard to, like, race good in one race and then come back and have a just as good race the next. So, like, I got to work on that, like, that consistency in my dual meets and then invite wise um i usually just race once invites because we don't really focus on like winning invites um invite wise i think just getting after it as much as i can and like just giving my best shot at it um i think i'm more i think i'm a better runner in track just because i know the strategy better in track than in cross um i'm definitely more track minded in that way but uh and I'm like trying to learn cross, but like track, I have more locked down. So just invite wise, just going after and just knowing what I have to do and executing basically knowing it's going to hurt, but I know I can do it. So just that kind of stuff. All right. Well, Brady, thank you so much for uh, coming on and talking with us and best of luck this track season. And I'll, I'll be on again before you head to Xavier. Thank you so much. You have a good one. <laughs>